Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hello everybody, and welcome to actual training for NASA space rocket scientist super astronauts. If you don't know anything about this game, just know it's a serious rocket science simulator game, and the I already did some of the tutorials and I spent like three hours on it, so hopefully I'm good to go now. Hopefully I'm equipped. Um, I only did about half of them. But you know, you know, you, rocket science is pretty intuitive. I don't think we need too much more. So I'm gonna go right into career here. Welcome to the Space Center. Oh, they even got uh, little intro messages. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Gene Kerman, nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, flight director and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. From here, you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around with R. Uh, press square over the Space Center facilities to view more information about them. Press X when you're ready to head inside. If you need more information, check out the training section on the main menu. Thanks, I got it. Oh, you decided to use radio preset. Okay, blah, blah, blah. That's just controls. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, so I played this game a couple years ago. So I'm going to be totally open with you guys. However, I forgot pretty much everything. That's why I had to do the tutorials again. And I just remembered this game actually being crazy complicated. And this game kind of has an interesting history if you ever care to look it up. And I think, I'm not 100%, but I think either the, the dev consulted with NASA or NASA asked to consult with this dev um, over the like engine they used to simulate physics in this game. So... Um, anyways, let's take a look at our different buildings. So, admin building. The administration building may not seem like a very exciting place at first, but here's where all our strategic decisions are made. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Strategies. Okay, I'm not really into the whole management thing yet, because I haven't, uh, done anything. Astronaut complex. Contains a living and recreational spaces for all crew members. New applicants can also apply here to be recruited. Oh, okay. Well, we already got four people here. Oh, nice. They got stats. Even. <laughs> I guess the only two stats that matter when you're a rocket scientist. They have courage and stupidity. Oh, and they have other effects I can see down at the bottom. Oh, if they're a scientist versus engineer versus pilot. Okay. Okay, I understand. Next hire, $65,500. I only have $25,000. <laughs> Holy shit, rocket scientists and astronauts are expensive. Okay, what's the next thing here? Oh, uh, this is the official flag of the space program. Or we could change it. Oh, we can change it. I'll, I'll work on that later. What do we have here? This is the launch pad. I don't know why my... My help menu went away here. So that's the launch pad. What is this? Mission control. At the mission control facility, all available contracts can be managed. It also offers a very nice view of the launch sites for any who are brave enough to be so close to a launching cryo. Oh, okay. So this is where the missions are. And I remember these. I remember doing a lot of these for money and whatnot. So gather scientific data from Kerbin. Launch our first vessel. Okay. So these two are like trivial prestige, it says. So these should be easy. So launch a vessel. Recover or transmit any science data experiment from Kerbin, which is the name of this planet. They don't call it Earth. It's called the Kerbin. <laughs> and all these just very charming green guys are called the Kerbals. So I'm going to go ahead. Can I accept more than one at a time? Oh, it says max two. And then you upgrade this building more to hold more. I'm just going to grab those because I'm pretty sure we can do those. And if not, well, it'll just be a happy accident. Research and development. Okay, so that's what research. Oh, Jesus. How big is this tree? <laughs> oh, my. Can I? Cannot afford technology cost. Oh, I need more science, which I think we get from. Um, from doing experiments. Okay, okay. Some of this is coming back. The runway. All right. And then the last one is the Vehicle Assembly Building, where spacecraft are designed and built before being moved to the launch pad for flight. I think this is where our journey is going to begin. Because we're going to have to build something and make it launch. Ver what, what's your name? Wer Werner Von Kerman. Hello, I'm Werner Von Kerman, Chief Rocketry Engineer. 
This is the vehicle assembly building where we build spacecraft and later roll them out to the launch pad for flight. Pretty impressive, isn't it? On your left, you'll find components to construct your own spacecraft. Select a starting part and attach it together to build the ship. Or you can have a look around with R. Um, anyhow, yeah, okay. All right, this is this is part of my training when I was doing my several hour long <laughs> tutorials. Uh, kind of the basics of building a rocket. So, wow, we really have like nothing. There's like no parts here. There's science. Okay, okay, so the first part of most rockets, from my understanding, is a command pod. So this is where all the people are going to be. So we're just going to place one of those, since this is the only pod we have. And that's where it'll be controlled from. So naturally we have that. Um, and then another thing we're going to want is a parachute, because we're going to want to come back down to Earth. Conceivably. I think I want to try and save uh, our Kerbal's lives. So let's go ahead. I'm going to attach a parachute and this one actually fits really nicely on this pod so I'm just gonna put that there and then uh, like yeah no I this is gonna get way more complex just so you know <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to explain it though so like all different parts they have various properties you can adjust so here I'm gonna adjust the minimum pressure before the parachute opens and I'm gonna set it all the way to the max Basically, this makes it open before we crash into the ground, so that should be simply put. Um, okay, and then what do we got? Okay, we do have some fins. Nice. We have a girder segment. I don't plan on using that. Is that all we... Wait, do we have science? Oh, we do have science. Okay, mystery goo containment unit. <laughs> what? This unit was something our, one of our engineers came upon while dumpster diving uh, while researching alternative applications for existing technologies. Okay, cool. I think we need one of these. Um, but we're actually going to need two. So they have a they have a symmetry kind of toggle here, so it'll play stuff symmetrically. There, that looks good. Okay. Um, we need it to be symmetrical. Wow, that doesn't look good at all. Toggle snap, maybe. Ah, there we go. Toggle snap. Beautiful. Okay, that makes it look like I'm not a madman. Okay, so now we have those on there. We need it to be symmetrical for the physics of the whole thing. Alright, if it's heavier on one side, it's naturally going to drift off to that side. So, um, Other than that, we have like nothing for fuel. We just have this for engines. A solid fuel booster. Well, it kind of limits what I can do here, huh? Well, <laughs> That'll totally work. Okay, let's just put one here. Put some fins on this bad boy. I'm just going to put two. More might be overkill. I don't think we're going to go to the moon with this one. I'm sorry. There we go. Wow. You know what? Say what you want. That's kind of a cute spaceship. I kind of like that. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to put on you. That's like all the parts I have. I have nothing. Okay, and then we get to name it. Nice. So, whatever. I'm going to call this the SS. Little shit. There we go. A beautiful name for our first... Our first butte here. Launch site. Oh! Okay, one last thing I need to do here. In the lower right here, this is what's called the staging grid or something like that. Basically, this is the stage in which things happen during your flight. So I'm just going to tell it first to ignite the engines. And then the next stage will be arming the parachute. I don't want it to happen at the same time because I don't want a parachute to fly out like at the start, right? So we're just going to do that. Save that craft, the SS little shit. Let's go to the launch pad. What do we... This is such a shitty launch pad. <laughs> and it looked like a previous experiment didn't go so well here. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. What is the funding for our space program? Okay, anyways. Alright. Oh, and we do have a pilot. Okay. Um... Okay, 
part of this game is experimentation. And actually, <laughs> before experimenting too much, I am going to... Okay, alright, sorry. We're back at the launch pad. I can't do what I want to do. So I'm worried that this whole thing is going to be too heavy for our parachute, but you know what? This game's just about experimentation and failing over and over and over again. So what I'm going to do here is uh, set the throttle. You know what? We're just going to go full burn. We're going to see what happens here. Um, I am going to toggle stability control. So I'll basically tell the pilot to try and make sure this thing doesn't fly out of control. And then I think this is it. I think this is all we're going to do. So, here goes nothing. Our first flight. The SS little shit. Oh, gosh. <laughs> all right, let's, let's arc it a little bit. So, maybe we go towards the ocean. Guys, I feel like landing in the water is probably our best shot here. Am I out of fuel already? I am. There wasn't much in there at all. I'm going to be honest. We're going a lot higher than I expected. And nothing blew up immediately, so that's cool. Wow, and I'm just coasting upwards here. Wow, we're actually... Wow, this is kind of beautiful up here. Look at this. Is that the North Pole? Oh, I I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to just go fully sideways there. The controls are a little bit tough in this game. We're still... Yeah, we're still going upwards. Oh, nope. Okay, we reached our peak. We're heading back down. I don't know what the best way is to face. I think I'm gonna face this way though. Yep, try and try and hold it steady there in the middle. I'm gonna okay, nope, it's just gonna naturally do that. This might make more sense to fall this way, however, this means we're gonna speed up faster, which might make it harder for the parachute. Oh crap, yeah, the parachute needs to be on top. Oh no. Okay, this is this is going to be a hectic landing, I think. I'm kind of scared. Okay, arm the parachute to go when it's ready. Oh, gosh. I have no idea what's going to happen. I mean, the worst case scenario, we just dive down into the ocean, right? It'll be okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh no, what happened? Did we not, did we go too fast? And the parachute didn't get a chance to arm? I don't know what happened. Oh, our poor first pilot. Um, did everything get destroyed? Oh gosh, Jebediah Kerman was killed. Oh no. Oh no. Revert to launch, revert to vehicle assembly. Um... Oh my gosh. Nope, we're gonna we're gonna live with what we did. I mean I'll probably revert to launch sometimes, but you know, we gotta live with our choices sometime. Let's go back to the space center. This does not bode well for the start of our space program here. Oh boy Oh but look at that money. Oh Jebediah, you will be missed, but you did make us a lot of money and you could be replaced, I think, with the money we gained from that. Uh, but <clears throat> rest in peace, respect. Um, okay. You know what? You know what I forgot to do? Actually, no. So I forgot to do the science experiment, but it doesn't matter because I don't think anyone would have been back. There's nothing to collect. That thing is gone. So. Oh, can I do anything in R&D? Oh, I have 10 science points. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. So I can actually buy these two. So, yes, let me buy those two. I'm guessing I just got science just for launching a thing out in space. Or, not in space. Don't get ahead of myself. Um, just for launching a rocket for our first time. So that's good. Okay, those parts are going to help a lot, I think. Um, where's the mission? Yeah, mission control. Holy... Alright, despite us just blowing up uh, an astronaut, actually a lot of people... Seem to want to offer us contracts. Okay. Um, what are all these? Conduct a focused observational study of Kerbin. Take a crew report in flight below 18,400 meters near Duke's Fortune. Your site. 
Oh. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm not, I'm not really confident about our controlled flight right now. Like... <laughs> And I don't know how to access the map really to find those, but maybe we'll do that another time. Test the flea solid booster at the launch site. Activate the part through the staging so you can all test conditions are met. Kerbin launch site. Oh. Oh yeah, well we can do that. I I already did that. Yeah, accept that. And then we have the other mission. Gather scientific data. So we'll try and do that this time. Let me see the astronaut complex here. Okay, we lost our pilot. Oh, we have another pilot. Ha ha ha. Look at that lost missing. <laughs> missing in action. Wait, so she's not confirmed dead? He or she? Oh, I just, I just, I just did something. I think I just removed him. Okay, well... Best wishes to you, Jebediah. Let's go back here. We're going to edit our SS little shit here. And now we have we have a lot of new parts now. You'll notice, yeah, we got some new engines now. So we need to test this flea booster, which we already have. That's our contract. And collect science, which hopefully will happen. Yeah. Okay, so the only other thing I want to do here is attach a decoupler. So let's just put this oh whoops let's just put this right here attach that and that looks good so and actually let's add another stage here is there anything I need to change with this altitude minimum pressure yeah the thing must have just been going too fast for the parachute or something it just didn't arm I don't know exactly what went wrong I could probably look back in the mission logs or something but Anyway, so this decoupler now, so we're going to boost up the whole thing, you know, into the air like we did last time, but this decoupler will allow us to detach the rest of this. So it'll just shoot this off, that way it will be a lot lighter weight when we want to land. So that is just one minor change we're going to make here, and it's going to make a big difference, I think. What's all this? Communication. First sound, lightweight antenna, suitable for moderate to long range. Moderate range communication, long range backup communication, eavesdropping a secret government. Operations. I don't think we need any of that. Because I think we can just walk back. As long as everyone lives, I don't think you need communication on your craft to communicate science over. What else do we have here? Oh, a thermometer. Oh. And that counts as science. Oh, oh, okay. I'm going to make that change quick because that's probably going to be easier to do. There we go. And it's a lot smaller. That'll be less to deal with when we're flying. And it'll probably go further too because the big tubes won't be, uh, you know, harming our aerodynamics. Otherwise, I think, I think that's it. So this is going to be the SS Little Shit 2.0. Almost unrecognizable from the initial design. All right, save craft, and let's launch it. All right. Godspeed, Valentina. Who knows what uh, awaits you. Hope you said your goodbyes to your family. Oh, gosh. Yep, let's just go up, and let's boost this side a little bit so we can get going over the lake again. I think that's still our best shot of survival. Okay, so now the fuel's out, so actually I'm just gonna drop it, right? And then... Now I'm just like a bullet flying through air, dude. Uh-oh. Whoa. Ah. Okay, maybe I jostled that too much. So we might not go as high as before. Yeah, I don't... I don't. Would that gain you any height, detaching early like that? I was thinking more mass, but also you have more momentum. I don't know. I don't... This game always makes me think. Okay, but we're over the ocean, right? Ah... Uh, it looks like it. Wow, the space station's so tiny from up here. <laughs> oh shit, okay, okay. Um I forgot. Okay, how do I zoom in? So I want to click this. Log temperature. Yeah, there we go. Temperature scan. Collected and record temperature data from the environment. Cool. Keep experiment transmit no, we wanna keep the experiment. There we go. And I don't know if I can do it 
once for each once for each uh, thermometer here. Log temperature, keep it. Or the shot anyways, just did it on both of those. So now we did our science experiment and we're coming back to Earth. I should remember to arm the the parachute here. There we go, it's armed. Okay. I think this is I think we're going Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, we got the parachute out. Oh yeah, we're slowing down now. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I think we're gonna make it home alive as long as Valentina can swim. Or we have a boat. Okay, and then can I speed this up here? Wow, this really takes a long time to fall down. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. <laughs> We launched our first rocket and didn't obliterate our astronaut. I've never been more proud.